Good afternoon. My name is John Moriarty. I'm the Division Chief of Community Relations with the City of Carmel Fire Department. Today, I'm going to get on the computer and explain how to go online and get into our specific response registry form. I will go through the form and explain how to complete it and submit it. To begin, you're going to go to any browser and type in the City of Carmel and this is what will come up. You'll click on the City of Carmel homepage and the City of Carmel website will open up. At that time, you will click on the government and drop down to fire. Click on fire and the fire department website page will open up. You will go to the left and click on forms and applications and then scroll upward and you'll see the specific response registry form. Simply click on that and the form will open up. The specific response registry is a voluntary registry that is designed to provide advance notice to emergency response personnel, including but not limited to Carmel Fire Department, Carmel Police Department, and Hamilton County Public Safety Communications of a resident that may have difficulty leaving a residence quickly in the event of an emergency or that may require a specific response from an emergency response personnel. A resident may have difficulty leaving a residence quickly or require a specific response from emergency response personnel for a number of reasons, including, but not limited to, a physical, mental, medical, sensory, or intellectual disability. The information provided in this form is to aid emergency response personnel in an emergency situation. You will then fill out the form which includes the following. Residence information, you'll complete all these boxes. And again, anything with an asterisk next to it has to be completed before the form can be submitted. So that would be the residence information. The next would be the emergency contact information. The next would be the person completing the form if different from the resident. And the last section would be acknowledgement of electronic signature. At this point, you'd answer the following questions here and put a check by them, filling in any information that's required. After completing that, the bottom part, you put the, your email address in here of the person completing the form. Then you go to the signature box and click on it. And you can either type or draw your name, whichever one you want to do. In this case, we'll just type it. It'll finish like that. You simply hit sign. It'll put it in the box for you. You put today's date. and then you would hit submit. We've also added some additional resources here. The Mobile Integrated Health Program, it explains it all here and how to connect with that, as well as our File for Life refrigerator magnet. We have those at our headquarters station and they can be picked up there at any time. 